When it comes to source control in Swift Playgrounds, Apple hasn't given us a first party solution, but that doesn't mean we need to give up all hope. There's answers out there. So I did some research and I found an amazing app that allows me to hook up Swift Playgrounds to Git and get my code on GitHub. I'm gonna preface this video here just quickly with a couple of things. First, I am a small YouTuber. This is by no way sponsored. I just wanna get that out there. If you had any question as to how this came about, I just found this app on the App Store, did some research, and that's where I am. Second, I'm a hobbyist. I've taught myself everything I know about coding and all the finer details of version control and Git. It's still kind of a mystery to me. I'm learning every day, but if I'm saying things that are completely wrong, just let me know in the comments below. I'm all ears, happy to learn. And the best way to learn is to make mistakes and to talk to you. So that's that. With those details out of the way, let me tell you a little bit about Working Coffee. So it's a free app to download, but the free functionality is fairly limited. You're gonna probably need to pay for their subscription. And I put subscription in quotes because their monetization policy is kind of unique. They don't just charge you like a monthly subscription or an annual subscription. And if you stop paying, you don't get to use the app. Their policy's much better than that. What they do is you pay for a year and you get everything currently in the app and everything that will be developed up to a year from now. So any features they add within the next 12 months, you get. If they add a killer feature that you need 13 months from now, then you're out of luck. You gotta pay again. But if say 13 months from now they add a feature that's like, well, I could live without that. You don't have to pay, you still get everything you need, you're good to go. I like this policy. I think it's very fair for the people who are just using this as a hobby. There might be other apps that do similar things, but this is the one that I found and it's the one that I wanna show you today. So right now I'm using my iPad as my teleprompter, but I'm gonna hop into Swift Playgrounds and show you exactly how to set this up. All right guys, this is super easy. And all you need to do is have, so I have my Playgrounds file inside of my iCloud drive. So this is where all my Playgrounds go when they're created. And then I have Working Copy open here on the right. So I have it split screen between files and Working Copy. Now all you need to do to get your Playground into Working Copy is take the file uh, that you wanna put into Working Copy, and drag it over. And now you have a file in working copy that has a whole bunch of stuff that's ready to be committed to the Git. And I can prove this by now I can get rid of my files and I can, uh, I can come in here. I can do a commit for all of these changes here. And I can just type something like um, first commit or whatever, right? And just say, uh, no first commit a demo of working copy. And then I'll commit these. Oh, I need to select them all. So if I select all of them, that's all the files I wanna commit. Now I have them committed. They're all up to date. And now if I go to Swift Playgrounds and I come over to my app that I just put in there and say I update the level one file. Say I just add a comment here that says um, bindings. And now I go back over to working copy. You can see level one has been modified and that copy, that, that comment is there. It is instant, it is amazing. And I, I, I can't believe I'm just finding out about this now, but it gets even better. Cause this is all local, right? It's happening on my iPad, but say you want to have this code push. So you want to push this to GitHub. How do you do that? Well, it's really easy. All you need to do is go into your repository, click add a remote, click on a create repository, GitHub is selected. And I'm gonna set this up as a public one so that you guys can actually go look at it. I'll put the link down below. And yeah, we'll call this uh, shape game. And then we're gonna click confirm create repository created. And now I just have to go back to my repository here. I'm gonna commit this last file. This is just a random comment. I need to select the file, hit commit, and I'm gonna push that. All right, and now if I hop over to my GitHub, inside my repositories, I should see shape game. And if we browse the code, we should see that level one has bindings, which is what I just added to the code here. 
Now I have it hooked up where as soon as I update the Swift Playgrounds file on my iPad, so as I'm doing work, it will update working copy. So I'll get a, I'll get new updates here that will track the changes that will allow me to have some sort of version control and uh, protection against making huge mistakes in my code. I can always revert back very easily this way. And then as a secondary safety net, every now and then I can come in here and commit these files and push them to GitHub to have that repository also reflect all of these awesome changes. It's really pretty sweet what they've done here. And I think it is absolutely worth the $20 that they ask for the premium uh, subscription in order to get all of this stuff working. Highly recommend Working Copy. There are many other uses for this as well. I've seen it used uh, in my research. I found that people have been using it as ways to uh, version control documents, um, version control manuscripts, version control scripts for podcasts. There's all kinds of ways people are using Working Copy and I think it would definitely fit into anyone's, anyone who's watching this far into this video, it's probably going to work for you. So I highly recommend checking it out. It's free to download. They give you a 10 day free trial to get it, to get situated. And then you can decide from there. Anyway, that's been it. I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.